The Rock, Johnson, move over Arnold Schwarzenegger. You've got company. Phil Heath is now a seven-time winner of bodybuilding's most prestigious title. He is Mr. Olympia once again, one victory shy of the all-time record. But for tonight, Phil Heath will celebrate number seven alongside The Rock. He is not finished yet. Big Ronnie will be back next year to battle for this title. But for now, the night belongs to Phil the Gift Heath. He is Mr. Olympia. You have tied the greatest bodybuilder of all time, Arnold Schwarzenegger's record at number seven. What's going through your mind? What's going through your heart? I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just so thankful because when I started bodybuilding on October 8th, 2002, I had no idea that I would be standing on this stage one day winning the Mr. Olympia, let alone, you know, being seven-time champion. When I got into this journey, you know, I was, you know, a little bit bitter because I didn't make it playing Division One basketball, and I was trying to find another outlet. And bodybuilding taught me how to be strong mentally, physically, and emotionally through all life's challenges. It taught me how it taught me how to train hard when no one's in the room, when you're having a bad day, through death, through hardship, through anything that can go wrong. You, I always had the gym. I always had the gym. Over at Armbrust, I could train. I could train any time of the day. There would be days I would train by myself or with my fiance, Sheree, and I would be in there dying. I'd be in there dying looking at those pictures in the gym of Schwarzenegger, of Coleman, of Haney, of Dorian, of everybody. And I would just tell myself, one more set, one more rep, just give it everything you've got so you can put yourself in the best position to win. And that's all we can do in life, people. Sometimes life is gonna serve you up some curveballs, but I challenge each and every one of you to step in that batter's box and take a damn swing. Just take a swing. And it ain't gonna always work out for you. It ain't gonna always work out. Look, I just beat some incredible athletes. They are some of the best athletes I've ever competed against. Please give them a round of applause, please. Because they have made this, they have made this so hard. But I can tell you what, my faith in God, my family, my trainer, Honey Rambod, I love you, man. I've had one trainer, one, I did my first pro show in 2006 at the Colorado yep. Pro. We did the New York Pro after that, and we won both of them. And a lot of people thought, you know what, this guy's gonna be something. And Honey always told me, Phil, you have to understand something. It's a marathon, not a sprint, and a measurement of a man is when he gets knocked down, not when he's winning. So I lost a few times. <laughs> And he always reminded me just to keep on going and be the hardest worker in the room, just like what you say. And when people tell you you can't, you don't look at them. You don't need to look at them. You look in the mirror and you ask yourself, do you give it your all? You look at the mirror and you ask yourself, do you have another rep? You ask yourself, can I go to work when I'm pissed off because I'm about to get fired or something bad happened or lost my girlfriend or whatever it is? You ask yourself, do you have the guts to go after it when no one is watching, no one's patting you on the back, and no one is liking your stuff on freaking social media? If you got the guts to go after it, you can put yourself in the best position to win, and that's what I did through this entire prep. It was not easy. A lot of people say, oh, Phil, he's got genetics and this and that. I put that God-given talent to work each and every damn day in the gym. And I'm so thankful, I'm so thankful for the Olympia. I'm so thankful to be a bodybuilder because it wasn't meant for me to play basketball. I mean, look at me, I'm short as hell, you know, it doesn't work out like that. God had a different plan, obviously, and I'm glad that I listened. And I'm glad that I never gave up. And I know there's a lot of incredible athletes wanting to kick my ass next year, but I know this, winning is habitual. If you care about your success more than anyone else in the room, I promise you this, you will be successful at some point in time. 
But the goal is, is that when you are successful, that you don't just hide it for yourself. You don't just hold it for yourself. You share those experiences and perspectives with everybody else so then they can get theirs. So then they can feel the confidence to go after their dreams. And I'm just proud to be a seven time Mr. Olympia. And like the, and like the great Oak said, next year, I'll be back. <laughs>